Hi guys, hello, how is everybody? Karo Suji once again in this field of YouTube. Hello my friends and um, by shoe, I love you baby, hey, baby. <laughs> Who knows that song? I can't remember that song. <laughs> who can remind me that song i it something has just come into my mind and i was like bye i love you yes because i love you guys thank you so much for the support that you've shown on this channel i appreciate you so so much and on today's video i'm going to give you as just a uh, a bit of my experience uh here in africa <laughs> anyway yes here in america and remember me coming from that village so i just want to tell you a little bit of my experiences uh yeah what goes on and what went on that time and even this time and what is going on and before we go to the video guys have you subscribed? Sus Did I say subscribe? Oh my God. This thing, man. Subscribe. Subscribed. Have you subscribed? Please do. And like the video. You like. You subscribe. And you leave me a sweet comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. And uh, the other thing is that share. Share this video because many people to get to know uh the story and also support and to my video so i have like a notebook here because i write this some of these things so that i don't forget or talk about uh kujirudia rudia yes i don't like that so this place the first experience is minding my own business what do i mean by this minding your own business here you know back home we are i don't know if i want us i don't want to say we are social like let me say we are is it i don't know i don't know how to put it because here the thing is you know the way like uh maybe uh we are just we like talking you know i think we have that time to talk but here ha my friend you need to mind your own business because here as i have told you in my videos earlier we work by hour so your minute counts so you can imagine if you meet somebody let's say downstairs and you start my story five minutes you one minute that you've wasted maybe you would have counted that minute maybe driving to the place of work or maybe you wanted to go shopping or you wanted to do laundry or whatever you wanted to do in your house so here you mind your own business you do your own things like because you don't share the same shifts with everybody you have your own plans everybody has their own plans so you have to mind your own business and that's why many people say that this place is boring and this place can be depressing it is because now with that experience from back home you bring it here then it is something that you need to learn and before you come i just want to tell you that this place you have to mind your own business if you are that person that cannot keep quiet it <laughs> the, 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 the other thing is humbling this place is so humbling say humble so what do i mean this place eh, you see the way we have class hmm? like uh, just because maybe you work in a you work in a bank or you work in this big organization or maybe you are even I, I don't even know what i can say as long as you come here all that go like nobody cares 
Nobody cares either you are the P of Langata or wherever. Nobody cares whether you are the president or you are what. No, everybody is somebody here. Yes, everybody is somebody. There is no one in Nairobi, you know. The <laughs> you know the way sometimes we have like when we go to parties and you are like, oh, this place is for again in Nairobi. This other one is for the locals. I don't know that line of food belongs to the Nairobi people that toilet don't use it because the people from Nairobi are using it my friend <laughs> here they are no again in Nairobi here we are all again in Nairobi so <laughs> you don't have to come with your uh, like uh, just because um, you are up there when you come here everybody is equal everybody is the same that's what I want to mean. Like everybody is the same. There is no again in Nairobi. The other thing is the freedom. Like you can do whatever you want to do. You are just be you and do your own thing. As long as you are not doing uh, um, stupid things. Like you are not doing uh, things that may put you into troubles. Like if you don't have to be violent. You don't have to be just there is that freedom you can do you can achieve a lot and you can do so much in this place as long as you keep to the lane you know what i mean like you have to do the right thing at the right time and at the right place yes <clears throat> the other thing is uh this is something that i think i even talked about when i was doing um my catcher shop and it is something that I've come to realize that these place kids, they get to be independent very early in life. They get to have their views very early in life. They are able to choose. They can say yes or no to anything that they feel it is not working, which is I feel like it's better because some of the challenges that uh, most people are facing right now with the world that we are right now it's because of how we were brought up because some things i don't see uh, some sense in it uh, but let me not say sense because it is what was there that time times are evolving and we might compare like from back home and compare with a country like this one that has been independent for, for over 300 years, while we are counting on only we are not even 60 years yet, you can imagine now the difference. So this place, kids here, like they are way, way ahead. Because I can imagine there are some things that I hear kids talk about I've never heard of and maybe it's a like a 10 year old or a 12 year old when you hear of what they are discussing and you are like like the other day we went somewhere and my husband was telling me there was this kid uh he was um he was like let's say four years three years and the kid was like hi uh how much is this car do <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> Can you imagine a three-year-old asking you how much is your car? You can imagine the kind of thinking that that kid has. Me, ata Niki was ata not even not even ten. Niki was twenty. Ata singe shida kuuliza mtu how much is your car or even how much is your bike because I don't know. It's because uh, I could see like I cannot afford it or what i don't i cannot even explain comment down below let me know what what were you thinking when you are three years old could you have asked such kind of a question if you are that old like three years old or when did you start valuing such kind of things like cars and all when did you start now thinking of uh you can own a car or something and this guy was like my husband was like how oh, uh you want to buy one? And the guy was like, yes, yes, I like your car. And 
and I would want to buy uh, such a car. And it was amazing. When thinking about it, so we came, when we were coming, we were just discussing about it and we were asking ourselves, when did we, when did we start thinking about these kind of things? Comment down below, let me know uh, what you think about uh, that. The other thing is, no time for motion here. If I tell you guys I do not know my immediate neighbor, you may think like I'm trying to lie or I'm lying to you. But I don't know. I don't know. Because everybody minds their own business. Because maybe the time that I'm coming into the house, he's leaving for work or he has already left. Like, there is no that time for Moshene. You know, sometimes I miss, I was <laughs> saying another day that uh, those are the kind of things that I miss when like you're in your own house and downstairs or even somewhere in the balcony uh, in uh, Kwaploti, you hear those uh, other women there like shouting, either fighting or just giving Moshene, talking about somebody, you know those kind of things <laughs> i don't know when was the last time that i had i think my last time was even when i was back home that was when i had such kind of conversations like people fighting over over hanging lines people fighting over uh, i don't know who stole my pegs i've been finding my clothes up at chinis all these funny things here Mm -mm. it's so hard like hata mtoto wanawapi you know mtoto wanawapi for real like you have to mind your own business no time for mushene yes <laughs> the other thing is the availability of resources um like now if let's say i wanna uh eat something nimesikia nataka kula kapisa or anything Wherever you are, unajua. Okay, I know this one happens in our big cities back home, but I'm just talking of other places, like everywhere now. Wherever you are, maybe you are in this small town. I love sasa from my experience in the village. Me, vitu kama hizi, siku anaziona. I wasn't living in Nairobi, so I wasn't living in these big cities. So my mentality was still like, Wow, these things happen. Like if I want to eat something, I'll just make a call and order something and they'll bring in my house. If maybe I went to the hospital, the doctor will direct or be asking me like, which is your nearest uh, pharmacy or which pharmacy do you use? Like they'll just send my, my, my prescription there and... I can just from there I can just go home and call the 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 the, the pharmacy will just call me and tell me that the doctor has uh, I have there is some medication for me do I want it delivered to me or I want uh, to go pick it up like mm, stare unaona it come so unasikia tu stare like at your own uh, comfort of your sofa everything is uh, available your food medication and maybe you are uh, the kind maybe the refills you need uh, to refill your medications if you want uh, maybe some cleaning some people you want people to come and clean your house you just make a call like hello i'm here and uh, i want my house cleaned tomorrow by this time blah 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 and then okay we'll be there you come you pay it's done like you don't have to go queue somewhere, go sit somewhere and queue for hours. Like I remember the worst thing that I usually say is when uh, you are going to find those birth certificates and all that. My good Lord. You queue for two weeks and still, hakuna kitu, au party. Hmm? I talk you, unashindwa kwani inaandika ngwa aji, ama unashindwa kwani, yani information zinakuwa anga wapi. Some some things that are very uh, minor and nikikumbuka uh, like for my son about my birth certificate i didn't even go anywhere i was in the house and i was like 
yake birth certificate for my son blah 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 naitwa hivi 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 blah 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 okay we we'll mail it to you or you you want to come pick it up whatever you want yeah <laughs> inakuja at the comfort of your of your sofa so there are so many things that i can talk about here and experiences and the things that have amazed me in this country and please comment down below let me know what are the things that you've been hearing or you've been experienced and uh, let's get uh, to connect thank you so much for always coming to watch my videos i love you so much everybody is valued in this channel and may god bless you bye and see you on my next one